Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and welcome back to Spin Tires Mudrunner where we're going to be taking a look at a brand new second gen Dodge which is a work in progress um, from Redneck, you can see his username right there on the bedside and this truck will be getting released at some point next week is what he told me, this is currently not available um, but it will be available soon and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be testing it out around Evans Creek, now this is Evans Creek final, um, this is what is supposedly going to be the final release of this map and i for one and i love this map i this map if you've been around the spin tires or mud runner community for a long time you know evans creek you've been here before and it, it's a very familiar map to you it's almost a it's it's almost like home in a lot of ways and in case we need to be rescued we brought along a uh, work in progress custom jku by risky so without any further ado, let's go ahead and start this thing up and see what it uh, see what it sounds like, see what it drives like, and uh, see how it is. Definitely sounds like a second gen, or sounds kind of sort of like a second gen. As close as you'd be able to get in this game. The turbo does sound different. I mean, it's kind of got a similar sound to a lot of the Cummins engines that we've heard in this game. But it sounds like the turbo sound has either been boosted or like boosted up or swapped out with a different turbo whistle sound. Sounds like when you like when you end up taking the silencer ring off of a like off of a third gen or something. So far, it's got a lot of power. I haven't even taken it out of automatic yet, and I can tell you for one thing, the suspension is going to have a lot of travel, like a lot of travel. I'm going to go ahead and throw it in second real quick because I feel like I feel like that's probably what people are going to like mostly be doing with this truck is crawling in it. I mean, that's what it's for. It's not a race truck. It's not, you know, it's not really made to go fast. I mean, it can do it, but it's not really what it's built for. I mean, let's throw it into, like, fourth. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of quick, but it's not really, again, like I said, that's not really the focus of it. Now, I am running a uh, Mudrunner mod, which is why you all are seeing no damage, and I felt like, uh, in terms of doing a vehicle spotlight, Running without damage was probably the best course of action. Now, with this being a work in progress mod, I wonder if there are... Oh, there is some customization for it. Cool. So, you can do a... Wow, there's actually a lot of options. Dual um, side dump exhausts. You can do dual stacks. Uh, you can do jerry cans, which go... Okay, towards the... You got four of them towards the tailgate. You got Wow, you got a pretty intricate roll bar. And a single dump exhaust and a spare tire which requires the roll bar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw the roll bar in the back, the jerry cans in the back, single dump exhaust, spare tire, and oh, apparently you could do the dual stacks and the side dump exhaust if you really wanted to, but I'm not going to. And I'm going to fully outfit this thing as if I was not using Mudrunner Mod, so we're going to go ahead and fill up the jerry cans. That's going to be 200 liters of fuel. And if I remember correctly, and if he's and and if they've left the map pretty in a pretty similar state to what it was before, there should be a really good trail up here on the left. Now, when this suspension actually like bounces back, when it goes into rebound, oh my god, does it bounce back? Wow. I don't think. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure if we're actually still supposed to be back here. They might have actually. They might have kind of nixed this trail. Oh no, it's still here. It's just it's just a little overgrown. I guess it's kind of supposed to give off the vibe of like nobody's driven back here in a long time and you're kind of rediscovering Evans Creek, so to speak. So like the old trails that you remember are still there, but you kind of have to rediscover them in a way. This reminds me of like I'm getting mad, mad nostalgia right now of like way back when I used to test out mods in the original spin tires like I don't know why like this truck is giving me that vibe this map is giving me that vibe like the whole thing is giving me those vibes it really is not mad about it though you got a working Sparco steering wheel in here in the interior shift knob I mean the dash is a little basic but it doesn't really need to be anything but that the dash in a real second end dodge is basic hey at least this one's not cracked right It's got a lot of grip. It's got like, it's got a ton of grip. And it really does a good job of putting that grip to good use. V 
very, very flexible, too. Like, I want to get the suspension really twisted up, but I'm not sure. Well, it almost, it got a little bit twisted up there, but I want to kind of take it somewhere where you guys can really see what happens when you get this thing twisted, twisted. Come on, come on. Holy crap, we're just breaking off of the trail itself. I mean, and it just... It's just climbing like it's nobody's business. I mean, the only thing that seems to get in its way occasionally is loose rocks. And those, I mean, they get in everything's way, for one. And for two, you can just kind of, like, walk your way around them. Let's see, where are we at? I kind of want to be... Maybe over here, but you know what? You know what? I'm going to back... Yeah, I'm going to back myself up real quick. Nice thing about this truck is that you don't have to worry about breaking off of the trail. Like, if you want to get back to the main road, go right back to the main road. Like, literally don't even worry about it and go straight back to the main road. And then ease it down the hill. I mean, yeah, this is going to be steep as... Oh, get out, but... See, like, not even a problem at all. Like, just kind of a little tap of the brakes on the way down, and it moves its way out. Now, whoop, didn't mean to throw it in reverse. But now that we're back on pavement, I'm just going to unlock everything, put it in automatic, and just see how it drives like that, which still seems to drive fine. I mean, it's like, it's kind of one of those trucks where it's going to drive well, kind of almost no matter what you do with it. Now, there should be a, whoa, okay. It's still running. Stress test, it's still running. I'm still, I'm still matted on the throttle. I'm actually really surprised it didn't stall. We fully submerged it. I don't know if he's still working on the, uh, the water, um, like, like the, the stall, like, depth and stuff like that. I don't know if he's still working on that or not, so I don't know if that's final. But, as it is right now in its current state, God, the thing just about, like, submarines... I was looking around to make sure it didn't have a snorkel that I missed or something. Luckily, it doesn't. Now, on the old map, there used to be... Yeah, the hill's still there. Now, is it... Is it just as steep? Ah, it's just about as steep. It's just about as steep. Let's see... Let's see if it'll climb. Wow, it'll climb easy. Oh, there you can actually get a shot. Oh, yeah. There you can get a shot of what it looks like a little bit twisted up. Which, I mean, it's got so much travel. So much travel on that suspension. It, it's like... You'd really just have to almost take it up. Like, not a rock bouncer course, but like... A dedicated rock crawling stress test. To effectively, like, beach the thing. I, you're not gonna exercise its full potential here on Evans Creek. You're really not. I mean... It will walk through just about the entirety of Evans Creek like it's a literal walk in the park. But then again, that's what it's like straight up designed to do. Oh man, the, the lights even have that little kind of yellowish tint to them, which makes them look a lot more realistic in my opinion than if you just have like white light right there. Because vehicles that have like just white light just kind of chilling there, it, they're a little bit like, they can be a little bit jarring to look at for one, and for two, they're kind of annoying, honestly, because they don't look like they don't look like you would expect them to look. Now, also, I feel like this thing would be really fun to drive with a wheel. I feel like it would lend itself really well to that kind of play style. Now, I have to go ahead and I have to see if it would actually respond well to a wheel by testing it, obviously. But is that something you guys would like to see me do with a wheel? Like, let me know if you'd like to see me drive this particular truck with a wheel in a more like you know realistic fashion. If if that's something you guys would be interest, interested in then definitely let me know. See, I would also really be down to see him make a truggy version of this. Like, I feel like a truggy version of this would be so cool. I feel like it'd be so, so cool. I love the plate, too. The plate's, like, the plate's actually really, really detailed. Like, you can see, you know, you can see clearly that it's a North Carolina plate. You can see the, you know, you can see the plane. You can see the first in flight. You can see, like, North Carolina. You can read it all very clearly, and that's not a detail that a lot of people would have. A little SLT badge on the side, 2500 Cummins turbo diesel, it, it's all there. It's all there. Ease it up over the side. 
God, this map, I remember these views. I mean, like, wow, he is, he is, like, buried in the steering wheel. I don't know, man. I just remember these views and, like, the views that you would have off of this, like, off of this, not really cliffside, but just kind of looking down into that valley, that flooded valley. It's just like, again, the memories just keep coming back and coming back and coming back. It certainly got the grunt and the torque. But what's nice is that it's low geared enough that when you start to go back downhill, it's also like, it's not gonna take off on you. It's very, actually very easy to drive. I I really like this thing. It's definitely something that I would recommend if you want, if you want just a really well behaved trail rig. Um, that can also crawl on rocks, if so desired. Oh man! I was gonna try and flex on the stump, but it eventually, like, decided it didn't like me. See, and that's not even all that much flex, is the thing. It's, it's not even close to a lot of flex. We'll go ahead and ease it up this part of the trail. It just, like, it just climbs, man. It literally doesn't have anything that will stand in its way. I mean, the tires, I feel like they could be a little bigger if you wanted them to be. Wanted them to be, but even at this size, they're definitely big enough. And also, the fact that they're not, like, gigantic really helps the flex uh, capability of this, of this suspension. Well, it doesn't necessarily help the suspension, but it also prevents it from getting maxed out super easily. What a good rig. I mean, like, what a great all-round rig. I mean, it's just a good trail rig. Well, here might be a spot to flex it out. Oh, yeah. Well, kind of, sort of, not really. Dude, can you imagine just going down the trail or something in, like, a Jeep, like a TJ or an XJ or something, and you see a freaking second gen on coilovers come up behind you? I don't know about you, but I'd run. I'd just run and hide. I'd be like, no. Like, you win. You win. I'm going home. Like, I don't need to be here anymore. You win. I'm going home. That's that. Said and done. But yeah, no. This thing is a really, really good truck. And at the end of the day, I'm... Number one, I'm really excited to see it come out. And number two, I'm really excited to see you guys try it and let me know what you think of it. But... I want to give a big thank you to Redneck for letting me drive this thing um, and letting me drive it before it comes out, obviously, and also for letting for letting me give you guys a early look at it. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys next time. Talk to y'all later.